what's up youtube and welcome back to my channel it's your girl just sam here and on today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i installed this bob wig now unfortunately you guys this wig was a gift from my sister um she had thought about starting her own hair vending company so she was getting um hair from different vendors and she gave me this wig but she didn't establish a company so this is not hair from like any like place just was a gift from the middle of nowhere so i can't tell you guys where to get it but this video is all about how i install it and how i style it and yeah so just stay tuned and stick around to see the install process and i hope you guys like this video thanks all right y'all so if this is your first video with me then i'm about to go through my balding cap method and if y'all already watched my previous videos then y'all know how to do i throw on my cap and i cut out some holes for my ears and then I grab my ghost bond, free spray works as well, and I just make a line at my hairline with the glue, and I spread it out with my comb or my toothpick or popsicle stick or whatever you have, and I just spread it out to make a flat layer, and I'll do this once or twice until it's flat, and I feel like I have enough glue to let it stick, and then I grab my blow dryer, and I'll dry it. So y'all, you just do this a couple of times until... Your cap is completely secure on your head once or twice or until your cap is glued down completely. It's all up to you. Now I'll put my um, wig band on top of my cap just to really have my um, cap secure on my head. It holds it down for me, keeps it in place, and then I blow dry it on top of that just to give me that extra firm cap. I took the band off off camera and I um, cut off from the ears, but yes, I just grabbed the blow dryer after I took it off and did one more last blow dry and then I'm going to cut off the excess wig cap. Now that I have enough um, of the wig cap cut off, I'm going to throw my wig on and measure out where my glue is about to go, check out my hairline area, etc. So as y'all see, this is my bob wig already straightened and everything and this is not a new wig this is something i was reinstalling so the lace is cut already so i just check out where i'm gonna put on my ear and then i grab my ghost bond and put it on where the wig is about to go and then i'll do one layer two dots um one on the wig cap and one on my forehead and i'll spread it out with my comb so that it's flat this is very crucial your glue has to be flat so that um it goes 100 percent clear when you blow dry it and put the wig on the glue. So I'm just spreading out my glue, blow drying it to make it tacky, and then I'm gonna put the lace on. Normally I do this twice or three times, but today I had only did it once because I knew I didn't wanna have this wig on for a long time. I only wanted it for like two or three days. So after I throw on the glue, I'm gonna blow dry. And my sides weren't sticking as you're about to see so I had to just go in and add some more glue there So wherever you see like you need more glue just make sure you go in and add it. It's okay Just always go in and add that glue. Just don't forget to um spread it out Obviously and blow dry first. Don't just throw your wig on there So keep that in mind And then after I spread it out and I blow dry it and it's tacky I'll throw the lace on to over the glue and I just repeat this for any side that's not laying down. And that's that.
Now, when I put this wig on, I did not have the intention of it being a bob with bangs. I thought I was just going to do a regular blunt cup bob with edges. So, right now, I'm um, tweezing my hairline because I was about to make my little edges. So, yeah, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm just tweezing, tweezing, tweezing so I can make my edges, which y'all about to see me do and waste my time because it did not work out. It just wasn't a look for me. Now I added all that mousse in the wig band because I was I wanted um, the look to go back a little and then fall on my face. So that was why I added the mousse in the wig band just to um, hold the hairline down and give it that look that I was going for. But as I said already, it just did not work out. So I ended up, you know, combing that look out. Okay, y'all, so at this point, I'm trying real hard to film myself, and I just was not. So that's when I'm like, okay, let me pull out the bangs. And when I wore this previously, I did have a bang look. So that's why when I um, pulled out the hair, the bangs was already quite formed. Like, you notice, I don't need to cut anything because it's already there. I did do a little trimming, but nothing major because I already wore it as a bobble bangs. Even with having done this style already, it was giving me trouble too. As y'all can see, I keep combing and combing and straightening, and I just wasn't feeling the bang either. So like this whole style, this hairstyle gave me a lot of help, but I made it work in the end. So it was worth it, I suppose.
okay y'all so that is all i have for this video i really hope you guys enjoy how i came up with this little baba bang style even though it's not what i was going for when i put this wig on um it came out great and i like it and so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe um let me know what you guys want to see next and share this video with your friends thanks for watching y'all bye